Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the intersection curve. It's a quite special tool. It's a cousin for of the um, intersection option that you have under the extrude. As you can see here, this is intersection. Uh, this one is uh, dealing with bodies. But in this case, we're going to work, we need the intersection curve when you're working with uh, geometries. I would say it's easier to show it than to explain exactly uh, what it does. So we have this situation here. So we have two curves here, each on its own plane. Now I'm going to go into surface. I want to create um, another geometry which is in between in order to create uh, a better transition when I'm going to use the, um, the loft command, for example. Okay. If I want to, let's just say I'm going to create a loft between this one and this one. And I don't like this uh, straight uh, surface that we have created here. I want to create something with a little bit more um, curviness to that. So what I'm going to do is one way of doing it. It's go into uh, extrude and I'm going to push it down. Something like that. And then I'm going to bring up again the extrude and I'm going to push it this way. Good. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, split, split our body. So we can start with this one and the split into is going to be this one. Great. So as you can see, now we have two pieces. This one we can hide. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. So we are going to again choose our the body that we want to split. It's this one, and the splitting tool is this one. And now it gives us an arrow. Uh, let's try it again. Select splitting tool. It should work. Let's say what it's saying. Compute failed. There is an unknown intersection tool data and try without intersection tool. Okay, anyways, um, it doesn't matter in this situation because I already, I already got what I need and it's this one right here. It's this piece right here. So then my next uh, move it's going to be is to go and create a new sketch and go into include 3D uh, geometry and then project this line right here. And now I can get rid of this uh, body. Then we can turn back on these two faces. So what we have here, it's the intersection between those two geometries. So in this situation, we can go now and go into our loft command and create our loft like this. Okay. So uh, at this now from this point on, we can, you know, always play with it and do whatever we want and you can shape it the way you want it. So this is where one way of doing it. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the body that we have just created. So let's just say we're starting from fresh. Okay. So we've got this two geometries. Uh, all I got to do is go into create a sketch, go under create, project include intersection curve. Then we can choose this curve and this one. And voila, this is it. It's very simple and will give us exactly the same uh, results. So we can go again to the loft command and here we go. So that's the same body that we had from before, as you can see. And it's also the same if I go to our sketches right here. See, it's the same sketch. It's exam exactly the same results. Uh, the only difference is we just done it with one command and that's it. So this is what this tool is doing. And if you are uh, creating enough, creative and know how to think a little bit out of the box, you can really leverage this tool in many ways. In fact, I believe the last video I've created, uh, I've made about the 
boat hole. I think I've used this technique over there. You should go check it out. So uh, this is it about the intersection curve. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, then please write it down in the comments area and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.